Gentleman reserves. Gentlelady continues to reserve. No, actually, gentlelady is recognized. We need to be res accountable to this body. Gentlelady reserves. Gentleman is recognized. Um, uh, Mr. Speaker, I'm ha happy to yield uh, one minute to the gentlewoman from Massachusetts, Ms. Presley. Gentlelady is recognized for one minute. Mr. Speaker, I rise in strong opposition to the censure of Representative Jamal Bowman. This is yet another predictable but no less wasteful action. Congresswoman Bowman has Congressman Bowman has taken accountability for his mistake, and even Republicans on the Ethics Committee agree that this is a waste of time. We've got 99 problems, but a functional government of the Republican majority is not one of them. Republicans are disconnected, dysfunctional, discriminating, and a disappointment to the American people. They can't pass a bill to fund our public schools, but they will bring this resolution to attack Congressman Bowman, a champion for students, a lifelong educator, a duly elected member of Congress, and a strong black man. He honors the legacy of the many brilliant black men that came before him. A quick history lesson. We are approaching the anniversary of when Joseph Rainey became the first black member of the U.S. House of Representatives in December of 1870. Just like Jamal Bowman, he fought for public education and civil rights, and he had to deal with double standards and racism in Congress. This censure is just the latest in this chamber's racist history of telling black men that they don't belong in Congress. To the black men of this nation, know that you belong everywhere. Jamal Bowman is time has expired. For Another 30 seconds. I am fighting for you for an right alongside him, and I urge my colleagues to vote no on this resolution. Gentlelady yields back. Gentleman reserves. Gentlelady reserves. Gentleman is recognized.